It was really hard for Jeff to find guys that looked exactly like them or had their characteristics. And after Clint met them, he just felt they're so enthusiastic and they had such great faces that it was going to be kind of hard to match these guys. And that's when he kind of came up with the idea of maybe using them, you know, in the film. Which at first you're always kind of like, ooh, I don't know about that. Um, and it took some time, like definitely had to sleep on it a few times to like really see his vision. Cause you know, you think real people, they're not actors, who's gonna want to see this. But in the end, I think it, you know, the guys are so interesting, it's authentic. to shoot like five days on a movie train was like crazy. And to have to reenact that, I mean, I couldn't imagine what it was like for them, especially I think it was Spencer's first time back on a train since the incident. So I couldn't imagine what he was feeling. Um, but since like he's kind of cool and collected, like it was just, it didn't phase him. At least to me when, you know, he's walking around the train having a good time joking with everybody and I'm like, this actually happened. Like to have to reenact that, I mean, I don't know how you, how you do that. I don't know, man. You ever just feel like life is just pushing us towards something, like some greater purpose? There was a part in the book where Spencer, like their first day, you know, on their Europe trip, like he almost broke his ankle and it could have cost him the whole trip, but something kept pushing them forward. And even with like his home military training, like he didn't get to do exactly what he wanted to do, but he learned all these skills that in the end were able to help save somebody's life. And so you can't deny that there's some kind of greater force that is is that was pushing him to this incident